Hello and welcome. Right, I've set, I've leased one of the bale loaders, another Anderson, and I have set those two going. I've set the lorry and the case, and uh, they're already blocked by an object. Smash in. Yeah, I'm just going to get the haulage company to drag our belt system across, and I'm going to need, yeah, I'm going to need the center tunnel as well. So, yeah, I am going to. Uh, sort this problem out and get all of the haulage company to look everything over here and then I'm going to start on the grabbing the potatoes yeah so I'm going to uh, bring you back in when I've done a, made a bit of progress see you shortly right we're all set up it's now time to uh, yeah the, the balers are doing nicely that's the messaging system is as we know it's not right so it's not bright it is really yeah, it tells me where the tank is full, which is useful sometimes, and they, they sometimes get blocked by objects when you really wouldn't think they would, but yeah, it is. So this is me starting this field. I shall bring you in in a bit when we've done a bit more progress. So I'm going to see you shortly. Right, rain has stopped play. Yeah, this is the last little bit I'm going to do till morning. Now, definitely, it was getting dark anyway. I bought the little tiny uh, Mahindra across and... Yeah, well, well I, I wouldn't do this in real life, so I'm going to let that just chug along till it uh, finishes grabbing that lot, and then I'm going to uh, stop, and we're going to pop over, and, and what I'm going to do is, whilst you're on screen, we're going to pop across and just make sure the animals are all right. I've already had one horror, yeah, with um, animals and that. Yeah, on my, I, yeah using the um, animal feeding mod, the oh, I think it's part of the maze plus system. I have, uh, yeah, I really was quite upset because I did everything properly but that I have read and it didn't work. So, yes, I'm really. Let's have a look. Are we alright? <gasps> no, we're not. Ooh, hoo, hoo, we are definitely not alright. Let's get these fed. They're not out, but they would be if I left it till morning. Yeah, so that, that's. Uh, it, I don't know what to do because I, I must admit. I'm quite sure that it's disturbed simulations behind it, and as a trusted partner, I know he's he does an awful lot of things. And he, I mean, we know I use his BGA on what on earth are you doing? On pretty much every let's play, so you, you certainly can't say he's not a trusted partner because he is definitely. And it's I've, I'm sure I've done it right, but maybe I haven't. So uh, because it's a trusted partner, although I was blowing steam on Stone Valley. In the cold light of day, when you sort of think about it, you think, well, they, some of the, my favourite uh, mods are lights. Let's switch some lights on. Yeah, are uh, disturbed simulations, so I would definitely give them the benefit of the doubt. But I have, I'm sure I've done everything correctly. I have, um, I've used proper grass. We uh, literally cultivated it, replanted it. I even fertilised it and limed it as if it was a real field and then left it then i was wondering why is this not kicking in and i read again went into the system and it basically said that you need to be, go below 25 percent of your food and it would like take a preferred food if you i mean i was dealing with sheep so it was grass grass or grass so it wasn't like i had a lot of choice i i obviously I've got, I had grass, I cut this little tiny field on Stone Valley deliberately for that and oh, hit that hidden thing again. Yeah, and it didn't work, but oh, I, literally that night, I knew it was going to run out the next morning, so we went on to the next day, oh, there's way too much on here now, and they, they, they were down to health zero, so technically in real life they would be dead. So yeah, I was I was a little upset, as you would be if your animals were dead on paper. But yes, um, because it is disturbed simulations, I thought, well, you know, it's a trusted partner, benefit of the doubt. It, and also, I also my own past history <laughs> with mods is that sometimes I don't read up on them properly. Yes, I've got to say the verse of the um, vintage auger pack. I slated that for a while, and that was down to my own self, not hooking up a tractor. It was only when I went on YouTube when I thought, do you know, I really would like to see, is that me or is it? Is it the... And it was me. Of course it was me. The four shrits, um now that wasn't me. I've got to be honest, that was the mod, uh, the four shrits 
Oh, it's a, it would have been a game changer if that was done properly. It would have been. I still stick to that. But it really was awfully painful. It was. Do we do this as an emergency and then start again in the morning? Or no, no, wait. I'm going to do another one now. Even if it takes five minutes. Uh, do we need milk? Did we take the milk? Oh, no, we didn't. Right, okay, well, let's do that then. Yeah, well, let's just check the water at the same time. Yeah, being as I'm recording. Ah, okay. Now, this might well actually uh, allow it to fill again now. Ah, of course, you started on the trigger. It's ever so funny, isn't it, the trigger system? If you're on it, when you start, then it's not registered as you're on, because everything's starting from scratch. So let's just see if we can make it pop again. Or is it full? No, it's not. It really was just that fact that you didn't. You needed to... Oh, come on. Seriously? Right, well, let's see. I'm sure there's enough room in the other one now to get rid of this one more ton of water. Smashing lights, Mr. Smith. It is dark. Oh, I do like those. Un Look at those lovely greens and reds. Fantastic. No, the reds, are the, red, <laughs> the reds are the back lights, Mr. Smith. You should know that, being a, an avid driver of cars. I'm sure you're aware of the red back lights. That, uh, yeah, no, I do like the greens though. Those LEDs, they are really snazzy. Very nice. I still don't know how to use that little seed mod, which I, I usually have the farm farm productions from uh, Omatana, so it's not really a problem, but yeah, it is, isn't, it is nice to branch out, and I did really want to do that mod or a, a, a service to, uh, yeah, show, right, milk, let's, let's concentrate, we want to put this in, yeah, we are really literally now at the cashing in stage, um, I would say that we're probably going to be remaining on Attingham until December, January, where we've got silage to do, and well, we'll have an awful lot of silage because obviously we're going to have the all of that um, straw that we're going to put in the massive, massive. Um, oh, I can't make the mud. Good brain. Come on, kick in. What is it? What am I looking for? Do you know, the easiest way to do is to actually, yeah, when your brain can't, you can't think of it. It's quite a long way through here. Use of leftovers. It's amazing sometimes. The brain works amazingly when you prod it. Yeah, use of leftovers that we've got on the other side of the farm. We'll put all of that in there, whether we have to do it two or three. We're here for the count on that. As soon as the silage is done, we don't have to necessarily put it in. We'd see the... Oh, no, we would... No, because we would only stay until... We should see. We're gonna. I'm gonna work my backside off to try to make this work properly. That one. That is. Is definitely true. So that we're not. Yeah. No stone will be unturned. Is what I'm gonna say. Now we only. Oh no. This only holds ten anyway. So. Also, we want to check the. We want to put ten ton in the other one. And yes, I have that mod. It's not well. It wasn't working a week ago. Where you can uh, double your. Like uh, update your cycles and you can buy bigger storage and all that type of thing. A bit like in real life, you're investing in R and oh, we've got two of them now. Investing in R and D. Oh my god! Wow, I'd forgotten we got actually. Yeah, so many. It is the back, I believe, and I need to be really far forward. Really far, forward, I believe. Okay, is it the other side? I thought it was that side. I may be wrong. I am frequently. I do admit it. No, you are right. It's just that somehow it's not popping for you. Yeah, it's a really funny one, this one. But I usually do get it. Right, come on, we can do this. Ah, there you go. I'd forgotten we've got three of these. And then there's the also the other one too. Yeah, so what you would do, instead of having three of these, you would actually invest in a one super duper one. Now I know there's the cheaty one, but the fact that it says cheaty goes against the grain with me. So uh, yeah, I don't do it. But this is a legitimate use. You're basically almost buying, because let's be honest, space in a field and also like a, 
you would just buy a bigger model, wouldn't you really, in real life? You'd buy a bigger milk dairy with like much more product, and that's exactly the premise of the mod. So yes, I have got that, so now let's put the last lot into the oil in one production, because this we could do in the rain. So we've got two of those to take. Now my plan was, and it still is, to take those manually, and we're gonna sell them. Yeah, in this very session is my plan. Yeah, I've got lots of little smidgens to bring in to sort of show you the potato, you know, all that all that we've done on that. Now then, yeah, that's true. This was playing up last time, wasn't it? I couldn't actually get the potatoes in here. How much milk have we got? Ah, nine out of ten. That yeah, so that that equally only holds ten. I thought that held more, but there you go. Ah, it's probably other things I'm thinking of actually. Right, lights. Action camera done. So that's all of those filled up, and we are going to go to sleep till the morning. Hang on, we were going to do. Yeah, let's go and do another one. That's why that was the plan, wasn't it? Yeah, I would feel a lot happier with a bit more food in. That's just like the the minimum. I don't want any more health hits of my animals. I really don't. The only trouble with having your speed at speed three for when I run around frequently, so as I, you don't bore you all to death with me like taking half an hour to cross a field, is the fact that it's fine control that goes. Yeah, it then means, especially for cutting logs, that is a nightmare. You've got to switch that down to times one, or else you die. You just you covering twelve foot in the blink of an eye, and that that really doesn't work. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I should have my bucket on the front as well. It doesn't half make a difference. Nearly thirty tons instead of twenty three and a half. Yeah, so I don't really know how to do that. Oh, I do, that's right, I did look this up. Yeah, something about tilting. Ah, is it that? Do, let's, let's switch this on for one minute. Tilt the seed production. There you go. See, there you go. Fantastic, reverse the seed production, what does that mean? Right, okay, I, I, I'm a mind to do this. Did I switch that? Have I still got that on? No, no, that actually, oh wow, that actually, that's clever. I like that, it actually sort of shows the tip point. Oh, amazing. Well, I presume that is how you do it. I did look and it said something about tilt. So you just switch that on, tilt it. No, I don't think it did that because I'm sure we looked at that the other day and it didn't. So I thought, well, I can't recall it's had an update. So yeah, I'm going to take that one on the chin. I would say that's little old me, it is, but I'm glad that we've figured it out and I'm glad that we've put it on camera and I would use that again if I wasn't using the Omatana Farm Supplies production pack, yeah, because I'm trying to not use that every single time even though I would like to use it in every single let's play because, yeah, then it's like the same old, same old all of the time. Now why are you not popping? Am I too close? I have done this once before. And you're too close. Right, now we're not now. Right, let's switch your lights off. Right. And... There we go. Smashing. Right, so we're going to sleep till morning. We have emergency fed our animals. So they're up to, yeah, half food. And... We've taken all the milk. Oh, no more straw. Right, okay, so we need to sort that out. Wow, there's a lot of slurry. And looks to be quite a bit of manure. This is a job. Yeah, not terrible. No, that we've, we've had that a lot higher than that before. Right, anyway, because it's getting so dark, I'm going to go to sleep. And I'm going to see you all in the morning. So, night-night. <laughs> Uh, uh, nine o'clock, Mr. Smith. Absolutely nine o'clock. Now that was a really long day. We spent more hours on that than a little.
right, let's let's get the animals done. Let's do everything. Oh, we ah the sheep. Okay, yeah. Oh, please don't tell me our animals are dead. No, they're not. They're not. Oh, eight, eight and a half tons. Oh, that's a point. What are our animals? I think no. Yeah, they're not going to magically change, have they? Because we looked at this and they were like. 44% through puberty, yeah. So they're not going to be full, full. Right, yeah, yeah, I see it. No more space to place the wall at the pack. We should shift it. Hold your horses. Right, okay, let's get some more food in. Yeah, because we are good. We are going to be here, right, for a while. These months, we're going to, like, literally hit the farm as hard as possible so that we've got an accurate... Yeah, I don't shilly-shally around. I still treat it as a proper full let's play until we're actually uh... but yes I am this is the winding down stage where really you're trying to sell all of the produce that you've got to see how well you do and I don't get why, why the um, hits were so massive though because we weren't putting any more silage in yesterday so I don't, I don't understand it but I mean you could see me working and on the hourly tick up it was going up so I mean, I know we did have some silage in the BGA. Did we stick? To, oh, I know. Yeah, we had manure. Oh, no, perhaps we did. Perhaps it was manure and slurry too. It was three products, maybe. And also we do. We are selling the odd potato product as well. So, yeah, perhaps it was that. But dear, we're awfully big tickles. I mean, I'm doing it wrong. I'm chuffed. We've got. We shall have a look in a few minutes. We shall. Uh, do the rounds. I think another one of these. Yeah. What I'm going to do is in a bit. We're going to bring a 70 tonner of a straw. I'm not going to do this in this little one. Yeah. Well, I'm going to leave this trundling so that they've got enough. And we'll probably come back and do another one later. That way we don't need to hang around. Did that? Is that? Why did that? It, it popped and then it went away. What was that about? Right. That's better. <clears throat> right, smashing. So, animals fed. Our greenhouses were okay. These should, oh, should be definitely ready, and they're even ready to cut again. I'm, am I going to cut the grass one more time? I'm going to treat this as I said. No, I didn't. Yeah, looks like I didn't. Nitrogen's only okay. So, we, yeah, we didn't actually finish this field. Uh, this one, I didn't do either one. Which is very remiss of me but we were a little busy in my defense that barley field was a monster it really was now are you ready to <gasps> you are smashing and that's what i'm saying there's an awful lot of silage in both this and in the bales and they're both ready completely ready so that is going to bring in an awful lot we've got all of this to do this that's going to make an episode in itself even whether i sort of show you every last little bit or not We've got 242 tons of digestate to sell. Uh, that's going to bring in an awful lot of money as well. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to see you all on the other side of the farm. Absolutely, we're going to go and shift the... In fact, you know, come on. It's not like you're a stranger to me teleporting. I have done it a few times on this because of the, yeah, the jumping from one side to the other. Because you can't keep sort of stop starting the cameras every single time that you do this. Ah, that's right, we need some water, don't we? It lasted very well. I've got to say that. I expected to be, I think we only filled this once in the entire Let's Play. That was that original time, and it's actually taken like a thousand, or because there's only so few animals in here. Oh, my life. That is brilliant. Right, we will get that shifted. We'll get this filling with water. And then we will, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm quite now. How did I do this last time? I think I just reversed. Oh, just reversed in, didn't I? Because I was trying, as I, I thought it would work, and it really seriously did. Yeah, and it is very steep, so you've got to be very careful. It was here, wasn't it, at this very spot, which I think has been done on purpose by GB modding because we are at the back of the sheep. So yes, perfect. Now I might hit the tree. Uh, just a little. Uh, we, we appear to be doing very strange things. Now oh, come on, we 
can do this. I, I believe in us. I do believe we have to go quite a way in. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I'm going not straight backwards or I think we'd be going for a, a bit of a, uh, yeah. We'd be in the drink by now, let's just put it that way. Is that, it does the weight of the water pull you down? Am I moving backwards? I don't appear to be. <clears throat> I do think this is fantastic. Yeah, I, th I can't remember who did this. I think it's part of a Missy B pack, or is it an Omatana pack? I'm sure it is, it's definitely one of that, it's an excellent mod very reasonable 5,000 for 15,300 I find that amazing yeah I've got it on quite a few let's plays now Ooh. come on you can do it I know we're dragging it through the ground a little bit you know in real life that you, you could do that yeah. okay we have to go at an angle whoa 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 Uh, well, I've got to be honest, I think the physics aren't t too far off. It would be, it is a little bit steep. Oh, come on, we've, we've, we've had enough on outing and we're doing this. Ooh, come on. Yeah, we have, we've had lots of escapades. I think we've really paid the price of our... Yeah. I've got to be honest, I think actually that that would have seriously... Yeah, we would have been in the drink and that would have been a wreck. I've got to give it its due. Ooh. Yes, I think that, that Attingham was kind to me that time because in real life that would have been rather a different story, I think. Right, excellent. Yes, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time on Attingham. I have. I enjoyed it the first time, for this time more than the first time on FS19, because I didn't, I didn't completely engage in it. Now, I, I don't mean I didn't like it. That, that's not at all what I'm saying. It really isn't. I, I do love it. Although I don't prefer. I, yeah, I think GB Modding's other one was definitely better. Always thought that. Not saying there was anything wrong with this. There's something special about. Uh, the other one. And yeah, can I think of its name at the minute? No, I can't. But yes, I did think that was absolutely super duper. I can't just remember its name. Yeah, but Attingham is good. And, they, and again, I think actually some of it is subjective. It's just, you know, I mean, there are some fantastic. Oxygen David comes to mind. Calmston uh, was my absolute all-time favourite of Oxygen David's. I have got to say it was an absolute... I did call it the Mona Lisa and I am not going back on that. Yes, ooh, why did that not get the one underneath? Yeah, I truly do. I've got to say Calmston was my all-time favourite of Oxygen David's. And I've played a lot of his maps over the years. Some of them I loved and some of them I thought, hmm, not, not, yeah. And again, it's not me having a go at Oxygen David, it's on about, it's just that we all have, yeah. And yeah, I don't think you can always explain why you like something or why you didn't. But yeah, the other one of GB Modins I did think was fantastic. I'm hoping that it's, it's name popped into my head. West? No. No, 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 I'm thinking of Westbridge Hills. It's definitely not Westbridge Hills. Whoa. It was fantastic. I, yeah, I yeah, played that uh, quite a few times actually. I think you find that um, you, you do certain maps. Why are you not grabbing the one underneath? Thank you. Yeah, those maps that you love. Um, I think I've said a long time. Oh, that's the name of my favourite. But actually, is now outdated. You wouldn't play it now. Right, water. I'm trying to think, what was it called? Oh, 
always on the tip of my brain then, it really was. It'll come to me. I always find the more you chase, the more it disappears. Right, water. Okay, yeah, let's let's do this properly like you would so that we give these sheep plenty of space out there. Let's go and shut that gate, because you know it only takes a second for the sheep to, to run out, doesn't it? Let's be honest. I keep saying I'm aiming for realism, so let's play this realistically as much as you can. Yeah, it only takes about 1,500, so there's a lot of months worth of you know things on this. Alright, seem to be getting down this more, but we can't really be because we are at full tilt. Wow, I don't know. They're not seem to be getting down it. Right, anyway, that's that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, pop over and start on the potatoes again. And I'm going to bring you in every now and again once we start to get down on that. We're also going to do the straw. I'm going to see if I can get that mod. Let me, yeah, let, come on, let's, let's not worry about starting the cameras. Let's go over to here. Ah, now, now we want this. Yes, I've got the haulage company to uh, yeah, bring it all over here. Right, so we need to wink, wink. <laughs> Otherwise known as a uh, map reset, I believe is is the uh, technical term. Yeah, it, it is. It was a little naughty, but yeah. I, I, to be honest, I was so busy with doing the things. Yeah, what I'd like to do. Uh, no, let, let's let's yeah aim for a little bit tiny more realism than that. Yeah, I'd like to see if that. Now I tried it. Uh, oh. Tried a few months ago on Rombos, but Rombos wasn't the best map. Uh, JM Gaming has fi fixed the AI workers things, so yeah, the pathfinding was quite terrible on that map. Now it's fixed, as I showed a, oh, a good couple of months ago now, I think, on that map. With one of the updates, he's done an awful lot of updates, and also he's got the salvage system uh, working on the map and everything, so that is quite phenomenal. Yeah, so what I would like to do, I'm going to get get going in a minute with this. Wow, the weeds are kicking in. Uh, I, I am gonna, I do agree with what I said. We're going to go on a cost basis when we do cash up. I'm not going to move those. It, it is a gargantuan task. All we need to know is how much we'd get at the height of when the wood chips are. And obviously, if I was, I would get the full value of that, and we'll just add that to our money. That is what I'm going to say. So what I'm going to try and do now, see if we can use that mod for shifting this little lot. Let's try it. I, yeah, last time it was an abysmal fail, it really was. But you can use the workers on this screen to create a job. Yeah, deliver. So uh, is, it a, is it a deliver or load and deliver? That's right, from, we want, what is this called? No, it's not the you. No, nor you. No. No. Not you. Mini BGA. No, it's not you either. Multiple bind station. Oh. Can't be that either, can it? No. Crossfields. Crossfields dairy silo. No. Concrete. Is it that? Oh, yes, it's got. Oh, wow, I've never seen that before. Amazing, it actually does a green glowy sign over it. That is amazing. Right, okay, that's f quite fantastic. Right, so we're going to load. <sighs> oh my life, of course. There's so much in there. We're going to load straw. Exactly that. And we're going to unload. Ah, now, will it let us do that? That is a point. Will it class that as a... I suppose what we could do is is do it to no that said fram ah well if we do that we can actually now cross into a market let's I don't think it's going to class the actual thing as a I will make sense in a minute. <laughs> 
don't think it's going to let us know. Let's just go through it, Mr. Smith. No, it's not going to do that. Farm dairy. What if it's like concrete? Farm dairy. Potato box. Ah, now that. Ah, right, okay. Potatoes, sweet potatoes, sheep pen. Ah, <gasps> right. Oh, why is that going red? Oh, no, just, yeah, one's green and one's red. Right, okay. We could at the very... Yeah, it would be useful if we did that. So if we can't do what I'm trying to do... Ah, which it's not... No, we can't. Okay, well, that'll do. If we can do that... that let's just see, because I've never got this to work. And it's definitely right. Right, let's have a quick look at this. I am really intrigued at this. I'm, I have tried to do it. I have got to say that. Yeah, and it's never, never worked. Ever, ever, ever. Let's move this out of the way a little bit, though. Yes, I would be very interested in this. We're going to park this under the tree so it's well out of the way. And hope that the drive we've got is not totally useless. Because some of them are... Oh, what are you doing? Oh, what are you saying? Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that, that's not going to... Well, I suppose that in its defence, it, it isn't going to work. Let's just... Well... Well... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh! Oh, my life! Well, by magic, <laughs> it is filling them back somehow. Now, this obviously with a 70 tonner might work quite nice. I think this is going to run into trouble, though, when it actually uh, gets in a bit of a mess, because that isn't really terribly pretty. Right, well, anyway, we're going to leave him to it. We can it, we can see, as a rule of thumb, that's not actually... Uh, yeah, it's sort of working. Oh, oh OK, Lando. We, 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 you're lying, but you know something... Right, we're going to get stuck in. Right, I'm not going to sort of keep this recording all of the time. Yeah, well, you can see what we're going to do. I'm going to shift this around, and I'm going to bring you back in in a few minutes. And then we might actually try that. In fact, I suppose, actually, we could use the 48 tonner and then get a worker to loop with this one. Once this one's full, I might actually do that. So I shall bring you back in, and we shall have another go. Right, I'm going to see you shortly. I thought I'd bring you in. Yeah, I'm doing well on this. Well, well. When I say I, I'm literally see, really meaning them. Yes, they are doing very well. I should say we're well over halfway. So when it's finished, I shall bring you back in. The taters are coming on nicely as well. I shall show you. I shan't just, yeah, leave you. Let's just drop these off. Yeah, it's doing, it is, yeah, doing a very good job. Very few mishaps. You've got to start them not too close to bales. Uh, usually it seems to be best if you start the field position exactly where you are, you are the centre and then just set them out and I haven't had much of a problem since doing it that way. And the other thing is, is to make sure it is finished this before you set them going. We're coming back up the thing and making sure it's in what it calls transport position when your arm's down. I, well, I think, I'm not sure if that makes a difference, but it does make a difference if it goes to the end there. I usually put that down as well, and I haven't had any problems since doing that. So, yeah, I should show you what I mean. Usually it does, yeah, see, the, yeah, the target position wants to be where you are, pointing the way you are, and the field position, likewise, wants to be really over yourself as well. And since doing that, I have had very little problem. Yes, so let's try it again. Then I've not had any trouble with the trees yet, but that doesn't mean to say I won't have any trouble, trouble with the trees. But yeah, field there, target pointing the very direction that you're pointing. Yeah, they've actually really covered some distance to be honest. Right, let's go and show you the, how we're doing with the potatoes. We have moved. Yes. We've done one almost 70 tons, it was 67 tons and something, so yeah, just gotta shift this around. But yeah, we've done all that middle area and now we're coming around to do this area at the top. 
Yeah, he's fantastic how this works. He's got such a generous catchment area. That, uh, that's yeah. Obviously, I've done it on Stone Valley a lot, and I thought, you know, we've got the big convey all. It's typical as well. Last month in the sales, the big convey all actually dropped at. Um, but we haven't got any potatoes, and we're not going to plant in any potatoes. And that's what I've been mainly using it for. So I've yeah, it's eleven thousand in the sales. Amazing, but. I've, yeah, I thought, well, I don't really need it anymore. And I don't, yeah, it's almost, almost getting towards the back end of the Let's Play where, well, I always don't like spending money that you don't need to because obviously you're trying to earn money for the Let's Play. So the last thing you want to be doing is spending, although, I mean, that's not a lot. And there sometimes can be things that catch you out and you think, I wish I'd have done that. But yeah, apart from that, can't really see a need because we're not planting tates again we've got well too much yeah I did super duper I did some um, cashing up and we're up to 388,000 when I started on the let's play it was on the session it was a hundred and something 110,000 or something so yeah we've done all the back end work the digestate and the silage and it's really took us, and selling canola oil and, and lots of things like that. So it has all added up. Now then I think we're going to do that sneaky trick of uh, just grabbing a little bit for that in the middle, I reckon. Saves, yeah, doing it specially. Ooh. Yeah, I like this trick. It's, it's a good, you do it for Stone Valley when you're just trying to grab the bits on the edge of the field. That's it. That's as much as you're going to get. Right, I shall bring you in when I have made even more progress. So I'm going to see you shortly. Yeah, sort of getting sparse now. You know, it's telling you to, it's turning because before you could see a sea and now you're just seeing stragglers. So yeah, I reckon another two or three loads. Or two loads each. It's like uh, 48, 96. I don't think, even think that many. I think that's a bit of an over. Yeah, I think there's maybe a couple each. I, don't, I can't see the other side of the field though. Oh no, it's as bad, it is as good there. Taters are coming on, but this is, I've got to be honest, this is with having, again, I've always said this, well, for a very long time, it is all about teamwork. It really is. Let's come run and get that side. We'll take over for two minutes while we're chatting. Yeah, it is. It is all teamwork. We get two of these going and all of a sudden... Ah, perfect. Yeah. No, it's not that I want. Oh, it is that. Yes, it is definitely teamwork in situations like this that does it. It really is multiple tools rather than bigger. It, I've said that for a very long time. Did take me a while, yeah. Like most people, I think when you first come on the game, you you think it's oh, we need a bigger tractor, a bigger tractor, a bigger this, a bigger that, and and then I mean, I know the work. I course play does sort of spoil you a little bit. That's why I can never understand why everybody doesn't use it because it's. I think it's just the fact that it seems a little bit daunting. It isn't really, but people think it is. It's like anything. You just like crack on and. Let's get that one. That's going to take ages to come back because I've waited too long. It's gone all the way down to the bottom. It takes so long to come back up. I'm sure it didn't used to take this long. It does now. It sort of crawls at the top at the very, very last little bit. <clears throat> right, I think. Yeah, I do. Seriously, when you look around, there isn't that much to do. Right, let's give this a shot and see. I shall uh, bring you back in in a few minutes. Uh, field position, where you are. Target position, where you are, pointing outwards. And go. Oh, do you know? Cancel button, you know. I've not done that in ages. It's that button for getting out. Right, let's set this all going. And I think 
but it's not going to be far off. This one, for, yeah, this 48 actually looking at it. Why are you not wanting to? Right, okay. Huh? I didn't put you there. I put you right on top of yourself. Why did you change it to over there? You know. Oh, I think it's too close to the silo. And field position there. Go. That's better. Very strange. They bumped into each other once, which I didn't think was bad, really. Right. Oh, that's not good. Bad 34 tons. Yeah. Yeah, I'm moving this on its own at the minute, so it's doing quite a good job. Yeah, because the conveyor can move around with its own little tiny thing. Oh, I'm on top of it. So what, what happened there? What, how did that happen? Yes, it is very good. Go, oh, he says. Right, I shall bring you in in a little while. As you can see, I've not made much progress on this. So it does go to show how much the bale, the two balers are doing, how quickly they are doing what they're doing. Yeah, in comparison to one person, if I'd have done all of this all on myself, all on my own, then it really would have taken, oh, no, wrong one. It would have taken a lot longer now. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. And you're in my way. Yeah, anyway, you can see where I'm going with this. I'm going to bring you back in when I've made a little bit more progress on the potatoes. See you shortly. What was I saying? They've only bumped into each other once. Well, make that twice now, but yeah, not still not too bad. You can see, though, how well they are doing. I'm just going to set these going again. I just thought it was rather apt to show you. It was me saying, oh, yeah, they're doing really well. They've only bumped into each other once. And then, of course, they, uh, yeah it again still not bad though not not in all of this time really oh double double clicked it Wally in charge right, okay so you going again oh please don't tell me you bumped into a bale no you've not fantastic Right. Let's go back and do some more potatoes. I suppose, yeah, this is probably why, really, I'm not doing that well on the potatoes, is because, truthfully, you are disturbed all of the time. Really. Yeah. You, in, in and out. So that's why the bales are doing really well. And the. Uh, let's move. No, other way. It's you out. Yeah, while well, this job is obviously not doing as well as that job. Because there are way too many interruptions. Now then. Ooh, that's course like usually doing things like causing juddering. That should do nicely. Bring this back in now. Get it in position. Yeah, it's it is funny. Obviously, the more practice you get with belts, the better you get. Although the you still, you, I think actually that's a true of all equipment. You get off days and tie days where well, I seem to get tie days nearly all the time. But yeah, where uh, obviously it slows you down, or you do don't, don't do things quite as well as you normally would when you're on your A game. But yeah, apart from that, we've covered some area. We've got an awful massive chunk gone at present. I think we'll easily be able to clear this section here. I've done that corner there, apart from there's a little tiny bit of clear it where this was just too much of a stretch to keep doing the little trick where you go forwards and backwards. It took forever, so I thought, mm, do you know something? Yeah, we'll, we'll move. Right. Anyway, yes, I should bring you back in when I have either finished the... What, no, which way? Where are you trying to do that? Yeah. Probably when I finish the beta, which I don't think is going to be very long, and then we're just going to concentrate on this. So they should speed this up then. 
so I shall uh, bring you in in a few minutes. See you shortly. Make that three times now. We seem to be going for a record. Yeah, so uh, I'll do this one manually. I'm going to set the. Uh, wow, the lorry's really rammed into me. Yeah. Set the lorry going again, I think, because you've got a lot of stuff still to do, whereas the uh, the tractors have got one bale left to do. But yeah, this is, you can see I wasn't far off, I don't think. And by the time this is finished, finished, with that load on there, we're not going to be far off, which is good, because then I can concentrate on the potatoes, because I'm not getting anything done. Yeah, well, I am, but you know what I mean. Right, great job field there target there that away and go and we will manually collect the one bale on the right just there if I will go for the further out oh wow yeah there are many though yeah I'm not there's one there and, I mean, we were seeing seas of these, so we were literally. Oh, yeah, it would be not. Well, we'll have a look when we finish to how much straw there is, because obviously there was no straw in that at all. So, will there be enough for this one to be set? We'd set it going anyway. We will. I'm going to set it go. What I should have done, it's been a bit more methodical, but it, even if you set them into a quadrant of the field or something like that, they still, yeah, decide where they're going to go themselves. So. Although, I think that would have been a better thing to do. Really. Yeah, I think it would have been... Would have worked better, definitely. Right, okay then. So, one last go for you, and I don't think you're going to finish. Let's wait for that to come to the top. Yeah, that's the bit I'm on about. That last little bit is so slow. Perhaps it's because you're concentrating on it. What's that old saying? Watch pot never boils or something like that. Let's set this going. Right, I'm going to see you in a few minutes. Yeah, there is one thing I'm going to say. The only weakness of the massive conveyor is the fact that it is very, it doesn't move very well itself. It really doesn't. It's quite awful, in fact. But yeah, I uh, I still forgive it for this because it's so large. But, it's, but it is, I would say, the worst of the belt systems for that particular fact. Right, we will get this right. Yeah, just let you go. Yeah, now I still stick to my guns. This is the second trailer of 70 tons. It's nearly filled, I should imagine. Now we've got a tiny field, and I mean a tiny field on Stone Valley. And it's get, well, last time it, it did stupendous, but it's always got over 200 tons of potatoes. Now I've always said this, now I don't know what how the fruits work, as in the percentages, but. Either Attingham's very tight, or Stone Valley's very generous. I, I, I know that seems a funny thing to say, but this is yeah. We are. I, I would say on par with the 200 and odd horse, 200 horsepower, 200 tons that we are going to get from this. So I stick to my guns. If anyone's seen my Stone Valley and you look at the little half of a field that we've got, it does seem a lot smaller than this. So I'm. Ugh, Maybe I'm wrong. I suppose what I ought to do. Because I can always lump it together and grab a screenshot. Exactly how big is Field 1? If I click on it. It's precision farming. It's 2.01 hectares and it is about that. You can see there's not much around the edge. So I must take note of that on what it is on Stone Valley. Ah, there we go. That's one of the things but yeah I swear we are about two thirds in so I would say there's yeah well, I'd say I'm not far off there may be another a bit of a one afterwards which is going to be maybe 250 to 80 but the, we've got that off that field so 
something like that anyway whoa, 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 whoa. right we're going to let's go and have a quick look at the ah I think we're done which is quite amazing now then slow down sooner I went way past this because of the weight it's so heavy well as it is it's yeah I don't oh I suppose yeah 46.9 tons it says I think that's because obviously physics right let's have a look is that everything it does look like I can't see we did that corner I manually cleaned that corner where the beta is because it was a bit they were going too close to the um, the baler itself and one of them was having a bit of a took it ages to work out I was gonna you know literally grab it and move it but it actually did figure it out itself but it took it ages so I'd gone over to investigate why it was taking so long in that corner and it was because it was close to the equipment although it did fix it itself so All right I don't know if this is ours or whether this is the one on lease yes we should let go of that one and then I shall concentrate on the potatoes 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 yeah so I'm not going to quickly I shall yeah I'll keep the cameras on actually because this is this is the last little bit isn't it really of this load and we're gonna have a quick look to see how well we did yeah I can't see a single bale I don't think we've missed any which is quite stupendous because there were a lot of bales I'm trying to think how many times I've set these going 40 24 48 each time I set them going I'm not sure if it is 10. I thought, when I was doing this in my head, I thought it would be about 480 bales. But that is a lot of bales, really, for a field. So I think I would say 6 or 7. So 6 times 48. So if you said 6 times 50, that would be 300 and odd bales. Let's have a look. <coughs> Apologies, when I talk, it still makes that tickle come back and you just can't help it. Right, okay then, let's send the bail, bailer back that is on lease, so we don't get charged anymore. Ask them to pick it up, which was the other one. Right, smashing, so let's have a look how much have we got. I know it's all loose now, but how many tons? Ooh... That's rather a lot. Gordon Bennett, nearly 2 million from this field, 1744. I did think I did guess at something like that, didn't I? I did say it was something like well over 1 million. Or was it between 1 and 2? I shall have to check in editing. Although, yeah, trying to find a specific episode is a little bit tricky. Now then, can I? Oh no, I need to be getting you anyway, so... Yeah, the Cavail. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to do all right out of this. But uh, yeah, I am. I'm still rather perplexed. Cause that field is small. I mean, this is using the Cavail, which is an awful lot bigger than the. Um, I've got the. Oh, what's it called? It's. Oh, it's the cheap bell system. Really, 2,500. Oh, I'm trying to think of the manufacturer. The Versatile. But it. What was it called? It's something about it being old, but yeah. Vintage, that's the word. The vintage auger pack, that's the one. Yeah, so. Right. Ooh, fantastic. Right, so I'm going to bring you in when I've, I would say, almost finished this. That's probably a good way to start, which really, if I'm right, we should get another full load of this and... Yeah, this this should actually work quite well, I reckon, this time. Now I've moved the uh, Amiga. Yeah, I remembered its name. My word brain is so slow. Right, anyway, yes, you're not going to want to watch me doing this for hours on end. So, yeah, you get yourself and have a cup of tea or something, and I'll... Uh, I should come and show you how well I'm doing in a few minutes. So see you shortly. 
Right, I thought I'd switch the cameras on. It is, the light is beginning to fade. It is half past six at night on in August, and it is, yeah, dusky, and I can't switch the lights on when I'm on the conveyors. So I said, ah, I know I could do the trick that I've done before, which is to bring in the tractors and stick them around. Yes. Who needs floodlights when you've got tractors? So yes, I will probably, I'd like to crack on and get this sorted. Yeah, I'm going to stop recording for now though because it's nearly work. Yes, a little, an early session. So yeah, I'm not going to finish this. It'll be next recording session definitely for a fact with this one because there's a lot still. I should say it's still a third. So I might be slightly out. It might be 280 tons, but we have got still got roughly that off the. In fact, I think it was about 300 tons last time, which I don't understand why it was that. M it was a lot. I'm sure it was about 280, which is about the same for this. I just don't get it because this is, in my opinion, bigger. So we should check. I might be wrong. No, I'm sure I have checked. I think the entire field was 2.2 thing. So it's. That's, I wonder if that's some sort of trickery. We should see. I shall reconvene about this fact with you on Stone Valley. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, say. No, I've not said goodbye for now because I'm going to join these sessions. So I'm going to see you in a few minutes from your point of view. This is what I call my uh, generic goodbye for those sessions where I've done a recording and I didn't realise I was going to split it. And this is my... I do hate it when I don't say goodbye to you. It seems very rude when you invited guests in to come and have a look at your content and you don't say goodbye. So this is what I always add as the spliced goodbye. So... Yeah, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I truly do hope you're going to continue with me on this journey. And I'm going to say goodbye for now.